Hi everybody, I'm going to show you how to uh, burn your iPod movies to see. First, go to Mozilla Firefox. I'm going to wait for that to load. And I'm sorry if it takes a little bit because my computer is a little slow. I'm sorry about that. It's loading right now. So then go to Google and type in DVD flick. As you can see, I'm typing it up there right in my Google search bar. And then hit enter. Loading. Just a little slow. I'm sorry about this, but. Come on. Yeah, my computer's slow. Sorry about this. Alright, here we go. The very first one it will be. That one. Right there. And then, once that is done loading, I'll show you what the page is going to look like. Okay, so I'm going into the DVD Flick website right now. It's going to be the very first one, like I said. Here we go. It's gonna look like this with a big CD right there and it says DVD flick. Now, you wanna go to, uh, oh yeah, download, hit download. And then, what well you wanna hit? Source, where it says source. Oh, it says, uh, where it says right here, when it popped up, download DVD flick, the big thing right here. Click on that. Oh, and I've already downloaded this, so I'm not gonna download it, but I'm just gonna show you. Loading. Alright, it's almost there. Well, then, uh, after you, you're done downloading this, I'm gonna, um, your DVD flick. Will be an icon that has a little CD that says DVD flick. You're still on um, it. Um, hit, hit, flick, go there. Come on. And then right where it says download now, hit that. Um, which I'm gonna do for you. Loading, download DVD flick from Source Purge. And then, problems with the download, please use the direct link to try another mirror. And then just hit direct link. If it doesn't work, hit double click it. I'm sorry, this is taking a while. Alright, and then it, it will say save file and you hit save file and D DVD flex downloading right to my computer but I don't want it to because I already have it but once you it's all done it's all done with that let's close this out see my icon it looks well actually it's not CD it just says DVD flick and it has that but you'll see DVD flick double click that it's loading and then it'll pop up with this and then I'll pop up with this. So what you want to do is, you can make your main menu, project settings, but you have to follow the correct steps. Look, this is what you do. Go to add title. It'll bring you to your where all your movies are. And let's see. Uh, I'm going to pick the, uh, I'll pick, I guess I'll pick the Dark Knight. I like that movie. Okay, so you see, it's right up there, and look, this is a bar, and you can put, like, full TV, like, TV episodes, I did that once, it's, it's cool. So then, what you want to do after that, when it appears here, double click it, and it'll say, you know, show this, go to, just check it, or go to chapters, video sources, keep it how it is, though, you don't want to change anything, that hit accept, then go to project settings, you want to name it, 
and type the dark knight. That's what you want to name it. And keep this to be just change just to put the title of your movie. And go to video, keep that normal. Go to audio, keep that normal. Playback, keep it. And then burning. And then hit burn project to disk. And then and then ch check automatically erase disk if it is rewritable because you you want it to do that. And then hit accept. And then hit menu settings. And you can get your menu. You'll see like when it means none. You just hit accept. If you want none, you just hit accept. And none means like uh, right when you put it in your DVD player, it'll start playing right away. Or if you pick these, it'll be play, resume, orange light, blast of sphere, simple black, simple white, the party. I like I like the plasma sphere, and I'm gonna preview it, view it, see if it's good, and then it looks like that. Play, resume, select title, uh, and then you hit the X, and then if you like it, hit accept, and then. That's it, and then you can put like two, to three movies on here too, and then you just hit create DVD. Yes, and it says this project will be burned to the disk after it's finished encoding. Please make sure this is a blank disk recorder and is selected, and then this will pop up, and it is downloading. So it's it's already prepared the files, which we did, and then it's gonna encode the video, encode audio, combine sources, add subtitles, another author DVD, and finalize, and then. It, it, it it'll take long if it's a long movie. It's an if it's a two hour movie, it'll take long. If it's a three, it will take long. But if it's a one, eh, like it won't take that long. I'm, I'm okay. So, yep, that's it. That's all you gotta do. And so that is how you, um, that is how you download your iPod movies to DVD. Oh, and. These are the type of DVDs you need. You can get them at Walgreens for two dollars. It's it's DVD point R discs, and there's three discs which comes with it. That's what I get. It's at Walgreens for two dollars. All right, and that is how you uh burn your iPod movies to DVD flick. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching so much. All right. Bye.